Hello, my name is Greg Walsh from Leica Geosystems. I'm going to overview the external camera kit for the C10, C5 Leica ScanStation scanners. With the external camera kit, you can mount a Canon EOS 60D camera on top of the scanner. Six photographs create a full dome image, which when imported into Cyclone, can be used to make cube maps or to color point clouds. The Canon EOS 60D is an 18 megapixel high quality digital SLR and it takes absolutely stunning photographs. The Sigma 8mm fisheye lens is the same lens used in the popular Nodal Ninja kit. The bracket consists of two parts, one that mounts to the bottom of the EOS 60D and the other a replacement handle which mounts to the scanner. With the Canon EOS 60D mounted on the scanner, you can take images and scans and combine them conveniently in Cyclone. Let's take a look at a cube map made by the external camera kit. A full dome image set consisting of six images takes approximately one minute to collect. The cube map here was taken in the courtyard at Leica Geosystems corporate headquarters in Herbrug, Switzerland. The images were taken using the camera's auto exposure feature, specifically aperture priority, and were blended automatically upon import into Cyclone. The image set covers the entire field of view of the scanner, from the zenith, where all six images overlap and are blended together, to the nadar, where the scanner itself is located. Now let's take a look at this image set applied to a point cloud collected together with the images using the scanner's image and scan button in the scanner's MMI control panel. During import into Cyclone, the points were colored automatically using the images from the Canon EOS 60D. You can see right away quite a few differences between this colored point cloud and the cube map. In particular, the sky is black. That's because there are no points returned from the sky, usually. And when there are no returns, well, then the background black is simply applied. But another important difference is you're free to change your point of view. So in particular, if I select, say, a point on this target on the ground, I'm able to rotate away from the point of view of the camera and look at the data set from other viewpoints and other vantages. You can also change the point coloration from EOS 60D colors to the intensities of the returns, giving you a sense of the quality of the match. Here's the straight intensity as a black and white, and also the false colors that you are more typically associating with a view inside of Cyclone. And finally, we can reapply the colors, and those are the colors from the EOS 60D. The point cloud and the cube map shown here gives a sense of what results to expect when using the Leica external camera kit. In order to be able to use the external camera kit with a C10 or C5 scanner, you need to do a one-time office setup procedure. The office setup procedure takes about 15 minutes, and I will describe the process in the next video.